All right, guys, really quickly before we dive into today's very exciting part one of the alligator hunting series in Florida, I want to give you guys a quick reminder that the new Guggen Squad rubbers, these guys right here are going to be dropping on August the 30th, just a couple days away. And here's the thing. First of all, that may be alligator blood on my boots. Second of all, you're gonna notice me wearing those boots pretty much throughout this entire video. They're amazingly comfortable, they keep your feet dry, you can wear them all day and all night, which I did in this video, and your feet are still Gucci gang. Guys, when these boots drop, along with three other custom polo shirts that we have coming out, they are going to sell out. There's no question about it. Get your pair when they drop, if you can. Use code LOJO, as always, to save 10% on your order, and you'll be glad you did. Anyways, folks, let's officially start the alligator hunt. All right, folks, we have traveled down here to Palaka, Florida today. Now, I know most of you guys have probably never heard of the tiny little town of Palaka, but it is known nationwide, even worldwide, for the gigantic alligators that inhabit this region. It almost seems like there's a hundred gators for every one person. And during a few weeks in August, a very special thing occurs. Alligator hunting season is opened. During those few weeks of hunting, you will see the fishermen start to come in as the sun goes down and the alligator hunters start to go out. It's an experience that I got to have myself last year, almost this exact same place. And it's something that changed me forever and I will never forget. Uh -oh. oh, there he goes. Now he's trying to go somewhere. So the, the, your big gators, they'll, uh, they'll, they'll sit down there and they, uh, they can sit on the bottom and you can't budge them for, until they decide they want to come up and get air. Right. There's the air bubble. That's a good sign. You see that air bubble popped up? Dude, this is uh this is a workout, man. Yeah, dude. This is on another level. <laughs> it's freaking huge. Give me that bank stick. Here, Parker, hold this one. Hold this one, Parker. Now, me and Andrew number two have driven all this way because we want to recreate that experience because that video, if you guys remember, I had to remove off of YouTube because of the whole hunting weird scandal thing on YouTube last year at this time. For some reason, hunting channels were getting kind of flagged by YouTube and getting demonetized or the channels getting taken down, stuff like that. But with this trip, I'm hoping to recreate the magic of that trip where we actually captured and killed successfully a trophy alligator. We are gonna be joined on this adventure today by many different characters, people that are local here. A lot of them grew up here, a lot of them were born here. And they're gonna be able to fill in the gaps as to why alligator hunting is such a lifestyle down here and what makes it so difficult. So we've teamed back up with Deep South Outfitters and that's Morgan, that's Nick. These guys we already knew and we know these are some of the best gator hunters in the business, guaranteed almost to put us near a trophy gator. Now whether or not we can catch it kill it successfully, that's to be determined. Now, over the next 24 hours, guys, we are gonna document every single part of this process. We're gonna go out with Nick and Morgan, and we're gonna scout the area. We're gonna see if we can find some big male alligators hanging out in different regions where we can pinpoint where they hang out and go back tonight to hunt those giant male alligators. We're also gonna do some bass fishing in this video. I mean, Florida is obviously known for tremendous bass fishing, and the St. Johns River, which is where we're gonna be, is one of the best fisheries in the South. So big bass might be on the menu, just like big alligator might be. Guys, if you wanna book Deep South Outfitters and book your own trophy alligator hunt or many other things that they offer, I'm gonna put the number right up on the screen and the contact information, definitely hit them up. Morgan and his family have been so good to me personally, and they're about to show us an amazing time again, so show them some love. So before we go on our actual trophy gator hunt tonight, we have to do some scouting during the day today. Let's hop in the boat, let's see what we can see. Guys, if you're enjoying these types of videos, make sure you're smashing that thumbs up button and also subscribe if you're new, enable that bell notification, that way you guys do not miss an upload. There will be a pretty big giveaway in this video, so I would definitely stay tuned. Anyways, folks, let's find some big alligators. Funny, we're right here. I think the biggest gator we would have ever killed would have been right there. He come right here off of this point. Oh, really? The biggest one you guys ever killed? Mm -hmm. Well, he would have been. Would have been. Okay. 
So definitely had the biggest that. head, but he was missing. He was missing tail. Oh, I see what you're saying. So what we did is we measured, you know, the height of what the tail was right where it was cut off. Right. And we measured another alligator. We got that thickness and we measured how much tail was behind that. Mm -hmm. And it was right at 18 inches. Right. And that gator was 12 foot four. Wow. Oh With my that goodness. missing. With that missing. With that missing. So man, what's the, what's the state record alligator? Right. 14, two, it's think. either two or four, I can't remember. So Last that gator would have been maybe close to that then too. He would have been all over a state record. <sighs> wow. Yeah. Well, Morgan, if anybody's gonna do it, man, it's probably gonna be you, so. And nobody nobody cares about the gators. They just go swimming, they just don't care. Let me tell you something. Cause they the gators care. stay away? They are, no, they don't no? stay away. I actually heard this, I wouldn't have believed it well, if I'd have heard it. Did you tell me another day when he's about come Trenton? Right over Dude, about? I'd have never believed it. My buddy Trenton, uh, Trenton and Kaylee, were out there with their brother-in-law, her uh, her sister, their brother-in-law, and their kids. Yeah. Well, Trenton's brother-in-law jumped off the boat and had Trenton's uh, daughter, Reagan, on his back. Mm -hmm. And it, they were in probably, you know, knee-deep, thigh-deep water. So, you mm -hmm. know, you just kind of crawl across the sand where yeah. you left your knees yeah. dragged to us. So he's doing this, and all of a sudden, oh, he reaches no. over and grabs this just giant that's laying on the bottom. Yeah. There's boats everywhere. Yeah. And the dude boils up, knocks him off, like out of the no. water, throws the baby off his back, and the plates actually hit his chest, and he had scratches across his chest. And Trenton was like, <laughs> oh dude, he's like, if they would have told me that, I'd never believe the story. He said, but I literally watched it with my own two eyes. I'll that's a freaking dinner. nightmare. That's literally what <laughs> nightmares are made out of right there. Like, and, sh and water that shallow. Yep. That's like believable Same though. Airport. I mean, you. I think you told us last year, Morgan. Like these, the, the really big gators when they when they're trying to get away, it's like they'll almost just go to the bottom and just stay still. Like the the little ones are like tend to run. Yeah. Um, so that, it almost makes sense. Like he just just be still, just sit there on the bottom. So somebody could absolutely step on them. You know well, what you I mean? Like, think too. I think a lot of them too, just because they're so much older. They when they're twenty. 30 years farther along than all them little gators. I mean, like I said, they say them gators, you know, can be up to 50 years old. Yeah. So they've seen a lot more. They're not, I mean, they're still wary of people, but they're not as scared of them because they've sure. been yeah. around so much yeah. longer. Yeah. So they kind of know they just go right there and lay and sit. Just lay low. Yeah. Wow. And they can hold their breath forever. I remember fighting one for hours and he <laughs> did not have to come up that much. So. Yeah, hours on end. <laughs> Yeah, hoping you catch some of these creeks. There's a lot, ain't a lot of traffic going. Sometimes you catch some gators laid up in here. Yeah. And the bad thing is this section over right here is pretty shallow, so a lot of times you won't get them. You won't get them alligators. They try to avoid them, or at least the big ones will. They'll avoid that. Right. Real shallow water. So are there like any specific big gators you guys are trying to go after this season? Like, have y'all identified some that are like relating to a certain area? And that are like definitely bigger well, than the last one. We definitely got one. That, <laughs> like one that we might go after tonight. You know what I'm saying? Like one yeah, that you that kinda... one they hooked into yesterday. Morning. Yesterday morning when he was big. Really? Yeah. And they lost them. We, uh, we oh, y'all lost them. Okay. Yeah, that's oh, the, that's the one that broke well, them off. Yeah. Well, what was cool is we were about this far from the bank. Well, we hooked him like right here. Right. Well, dude, he freaking tore out with the water wasn't like four foot deep, so he is pushing a massive weight gator makes a loop and he starts heading back out in deeper water i'm like yeah oh this is perfect he's gonna go in deeper water we'll be good so that's what you want him to do you want him to get out away from everything yeah. that way you can just let him yeah, get tired I was like man this ain't good but it just looked cool because he's pushing that weight because it's such shallow water yeah. and then about the time he's headed out in deep water freaking <sighs> line just snapped or was it a rope or what he was he was in his mouth he had hooked him right there up around his head and in the mouth okay dang he actually breached I say breach that literally dude when he come out in the water yeah it, it was like a almost like a like a like a shark like a great white well, that's what been cool because if you're video and it had it underwater pushing weight and all of a sudden he just comes up oh. and i mean his head's like dude yeah it was like oh yeah dude i love going down these little these little like tiny cuts in the the lily pads and stuff this is how like Lake Okeechobee is. It's like three feet deep and you just run through stuff like this all the time. Like it's all you do. It's so wild looking now. Doesn't seem like it's a place where you should be with a boat, but people do it all the time. It's crazy. So what's the place called that we're heading to now? Let's 
see if we can sneak up on one of them. Footer, you said Morgan? Yeah, that's what he looks like, probably by his head. I'd say somewhere around eight. Man, he went down, didn't he? Yeah, I yeah, think so. See, Man. see, he was up getting him a little sun. Yeah, he was. That's what I was expecting. Like, I know the water temp's super hot, but I just figured this hey, time what I want to, if we go tonight, I don't know. You get right there to your left, swimming down the lily pad. Oh, right yeah, right here. And get right down the left. left. Right down See there. See the wake pushing going Golly. You guys were not lying. This is a big Gator Creek right here, dude. Ooh. God. Yeah, he looks a lot better. Yeah, yeah he's really pushing some dang water. So like you, you see how wide his head is? Yeah, dude. Like he looks big. Dude, look at that wake. He just went under underneath. Yeah, he did. Yeah. That's the that's 30 feet deep right that's here. That's quite, quite hard to kill alligator. And that current with that swirl, you drop the hook down and, and it's Yeah, you don't know, yeah. It's hard to, where it's gonna end up. It's hard to tell where it's gonna go. What so I was like, gonna tell you is we got a crazy full moon right now. Oh really? Tonight? Well well I say it is full moon. No, it isn't it tonight, be close. But, it, but it's still I think we already passed it, but it's uh, still really bright. Yeah, it's a waning gibbous, so it's always like three quarters of the way full going yeah. down. It's like when you like what we're doing right now, all right? Like kind of scouting or just trying to see where the, the gators are relating to. Do you guys do this a lot? Like on the nights that you know you're gonna hunt, will you spend the day before kind of ripping around and looking or like what? how much scouting do you actually do? Scouting is usually done just riding around hearsay from other people, honestly. Yeah, so just people in the community kind of communicating yeah, with each other. Yeah, hey, man, I saw a big gator over here. And then like, and, uh, then you just go. People aren't super protective over their spots like they are with like fishing spots. I mean, is it so? It's like not like less, <laughs> less. I mean, is it more? If somebody asks where we hooked a giant, we're not going to answer them. Right, <laughs> you right. know what I mean? Yeah, but, I mean, I'm not going to go. Tip, typically, it's your fishermen that aren't gator. Uh, I got you're, you. You're not going to get those kind of tips from other gators. Sure. Them. Okay. Gotcha. These are just, you know, buddies that are out fishing or something. They'll say, "Man, I seen a big gator over there," or like you said, somebody that. That's not doing it. Yeah. Somebody that's actually another gator hunter, they're not going to tell you where they saw 11, 12 foot alligator. Okay. So you're just talking about word of mouth, just from, you know, just local yeah, fishermen. People that don't people. hear it, don't think nothing about it. Well, they just, sure. they, saw big they just think it's cool they saw a big gator and they just want to tell somebody. All right, guys, check it out. College football is literally back this week. I know a ton of you are college football fans just like myself, and no matter who you are a fan of and which team you pull for, there are plenty of ways to cash in this football season. And DraftKings Sportbook is ready to get you in on the action. DraftKings Sportsbook is America's number one top-rated sportsbook app, and they're ready to offer you the chance to turn $5 into $200 worth of free bets. So all you have to do is go download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now, and new customers use promo code LOJO, and boom, you instantly get $200 of free bets once you place that first $5 dollar wager and use the code LOJO. It's really that simple. Guys, I don't know about you, but I'm going to be spending quite a few Saturdays up there at my house watching my favorite college football teams play, and I'm so glad and excited to be working with DraftKings Sportsbook this season. Hopefully I can win myself a little bit of cash, that way I can take care of some of the problems that we got going on back there. Guys, click the link right in the top of the description if you're interested and you want to go check it out. Like I said, 21 years of age or older. I've always had fun with sports betting, you know, $5 here, $5 there, nothing too serious. It's always fun when you can win something and watch something that you love on TV at the same time. Now, back to today's video. You'll see, man, during mating season, those gators are up all the time, they're everywhere. Yeah. So you'll see, I mean, and they're not they're not afraid. They kind of are like, like, like bucks in the rut. Right. They just kind of you know yeah. lose that kind of sense so you'll see giants just yeah floating around and then you just kind of know like if he's in that area then you kind of you know 
market. Yeah, I think you guys told me that last yeah, year. So if you see him, he'll be right around there somewhere. So that word of mouth that you're getting from people is actually pretty good intel then, because I mean, oh, if they see sure. a big a big gator, it's probably a big male and it's probably his territory. So like, well, it's definitely pretty... gonna be a male, because like I said, the record female right now is like 10, 3, 10, 4. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, that's the biggest, that's the biggest oh, I didn't one know that. Got, so. Okay. Most that's your extreme. females won't get over nine foot. Really? About nine foot is, is where they'll, they'll, yeah. they'll stop at. Wow, it's kind of surprising for some reason. I get we're just so used to like fish, you know, in the fish world, a lot of times the females are the bigger ones, yep. you know what yep. I mean? Because they're exactly. carrying the babies and, and them gators. Wow. Yep. Usually seven, eight, nine foot are going to be your females. Yep. So there's two different records and there's a female alligator record and a male. I didn't know they had it broken up like that. Yep. Wow, that's cool. It's getting me excited <laughs> so for that, tonight. There's, always, there's, there's always a possibility. Yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. Well, <laughs> let's keep looking, see if we can find a big male or a big female. Currently looking for a gator that we saw when we were on plane, and the boys think it was a big one. I believe 12 foot was used to describe how big it was. It was right over here somewhere. Pull us yep. back up on plane. We'll be coming around here to goat, uh, a goat farm here in just okay. a second. That's yeah. where that. That's where that giant was. So Andrew, be looking when I. I'll kind of like I'll holler at you like right about here. And when I say that, just know that right here, just be looking on your right. As we as we round the curve, okay. and that's where the giant was sitting when we passed him. He's, right. Listen, he's got a head about about that long. <laughs> he's freaking huge. All right. Yeah. yeah. Right. All right, folks. We got our eyes set on a big one. Let's see if we can find him. Yeah. Yeah. You try and turn up. If he didn't go down, he I probably did with that weight. Any size on him or what? Decent. Yeah. All right, we got a bead on another one under a tree over here. Let's see if we can get a shot of him. The boys think it was like a solid nine, maybe a ten footer. It's crazy how camouflage an alligator can be. I mean, unless you have the trained eyes looking for them. It's incredibly hard to see him. Well, he was like right up under here? No. no okay. Right oh, I got you. See where that moss is hanging off that second limb away from? Uh huh. He was up under here. I believe he's down. God, how did y'all see him? I think they're saying he was right underneath all that right there. No, no, no. Or the next one. Yep. The next one. Oh, okay. Out. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you were hunting for them right now, right? Like if we weren't just scouting and you guys were hunting, what would be the first? Like what would be the first thing you would do right now? Now that you've seen one, side start start trying to find him on your electronics, because um, you're figuring he's going down and now it's going to the bottom, maybe, oh, yeah. or, or just trying to get away. Yeah. So then you try to find him and then uh, you're what dragging those heavy heavy trebles, just mm -hmm. trying to get a get a hook in them. Yep. I didn't notice how strong the current was. Oh yeah, Man. whip the current. That's why this one's so deep. The current blowing. Up. Yeah, I didn't even realize until we just stopped. But it is, in fact, moving. Yeah, it's no, all good. Listen, so yeah, this cove up here's got a giant that um, I've seen. He's, he's, he's. Did you see it or just get told? I haven't seen him. Yeah, I've seen him twice. I've been a bunch told of about it. To tell it's, me about it. It's like okay, that's more that word of this mouth. This is one more word of giant. mouth. Giant. Yeah. But I've actually driven down River Street, which is where those houses sit. The road that runs right there, kind of where that, that truck's driving now. Yeah. And you can see him in the river from there. So all I want to do is just kind of slip up there and yeah, see, absolutely. see what we can do with Yeah, that would be sick, man. Out. Yeah. You can't do nothing but look at him, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the only reason he's yeah. still here is this area, they only give out 18 tags. Oh, oh, so this is a whole different area right here. Yeah. So you can't so this is a whole different area. This, this area only gets 18 tags, which is nine people. 
Oh wow. You get two tags per person. Oh yeah. there isn't but nine people that get this area and that's the reason he's probably still here because I gotcha. It ain't, other, it ain't got one of the right nine, which it might have this year. <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> might. It might have. Uh, two years ago, I hunted with him, and at the sandbar where everybody parties, mm -hmm. we killed one that was 12 foot 2. Wow. At the sandbar. Where everybody parties. Where everybody parties. That, yeah, that's alarming. That's like that alligator's almost hanging out just because he knows there's food if he ever needed it. You yeah, know? that's right. You gotta, Chips. Yeah. yeah. Leftover sandwiches. Little kids. Little, Little kids. kids. Stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. There's been uh, there's been gators, and you talk about how old these things get. There's been gators that, that have been killed in Florida, and they found they've they've looked in you know when they when they uh, gutted them, yeah. they actually cut open their bellies and found dog tags off of collars. Oh my lord! So here's the cool part: the one that, that they found, he uh, uh, he had he had tags and he had dog uh, ID tags in yeah. his belly. And it was from dogs right, yeah, that a man back, had, yeah, had owned that he had not seen. He had, well, me back up. he had not been in that club yeah. where this gator was in 35 years. Oh my! So gosh. he lost those dogs 35 years prior. And ironically, still just out there. That, those brass tags are still sitting in his. Dude, that's belly. nuts, man. I know the I know the big ones are like really old. You know what I mean? Once you start getting to that 12 foot range, you really ain't. To be 100 years old i mean you know what i mean yeah. like that which is just nuts all right guys i really hope you're enjoying this uh, episode one of the alligator hunting series that we just filmed in florida uh, this was a huge project we put a ton of hours in on this i really hope you guys are enjoying it i had a great time with it too but there's one problem that i'm having it's with uh, these two things right here if you guys remember i have tried to give away both of these fishing reels on the channel for the last like three months and uh, nobody has claimed them. So we're gonna try this again. So I'm actually gonna be giving away one of these reels for each one of these alligator hunting videos. So there's gonna be two, you know, part one, part two. So for this first video, I'm going to be giving away this lose tournament spool, uh, speed spool. I don't even remember what it is because it's been so long ago since I got it. I got it, used it for one video. And then of course I'm trying to give it back to you guys. It's one of the best ways to give back to the, to the community of people that support the channel. Now there is something that should be said about giveaways on this channel. Guys, there are scammers in the comment section of my channel and pretty much every channel I see on YouTube now, especially ones that have large followings like we do on this channel. Guys, if you ever have a person approaching you in the comment section of one of my videos who is asking me, asking you to text them or you know, asking for shipping money to send you the giveaway item, that's not real, okay? Those are not real people. Those are scammers, okay? When I give away stuff like this, I'm not gonna ask you for a penny. The only thing I'm gonna ask you for, once I confirm your identity as the winner, is your mailing address, and I'm going to mail this to you, okay? I've already seen a bunch of people that have been scammed by this, and they've lost hard-earned dollars to internet scammers. Guys, please don't be one of those people it's easy to fall for it. They will use profiles with my picture on them. Um, you know, they'll tell you what you want to hear. They'll tell you that you're the winner of the giveaway just to try to scam you and take your money. I, I cannot see another one of you guys lose money to these scammers. It literally makes me sick to my stomach knowing that you guys are giving your hard-earned dollars to some idiot, you know, lying to you. So be mindful about that. If you do win the giveaway, that's because I would have put your username either on the screen or in the description box of the next video that I upload. And if you see your name there, you can reach out to me at lojo.fishing at gmail.com. Then once you reach out to me, we'll get all that figured out. Anyways, folks, be careful out there. Scammers are everywhere. And stay tuned for part two of the alligator series. And that's when I will maybe announce the winner of the first video and give you instructions on how to win that second reel. Anyways, all you have to do to win this reel in this video is smash the thumbs up button. That's just saying you like this alligator hunting series. I'm sure you guys did anyways. And make sure you're subscribed to the channel with the bell notification enabled. That's all you gotta do. Just stay tuned and maybe you will walk away with your uh, brand new little reel. Anyways, back to today's video. <laughs> there's, there's like this a random amount of like sunken boats too. Have you noticed that? There's like a bunch of like old decommissioned boats just floating. And there's like sunken boats everywhere. 
Yeah, it's kind of random. I saw like two different or three different sunken boats this morning when we were riding around. Dude, everything about this place is different. Ain't that the truth? I mean, look at that boat right there. That's a weird looking boat. Yes, it is. I mean, it looks like a submarine, <laughs> but then it's got like a railing around the side of it and a fan. It's like fan powered. <laughs> They've got submerged piles listed on here. That's pretty nifty. Wonder if that's true. They hmm. literally have rush piles marked on here. Huh? That can't be right. Well, let's let's, uh, let's ride a little bit. Let's get a little AC and see what we can find out yeah, here. For it. Yeah. Got an interesting little spot coming up here ahead. It's kind of like a. It's a, it's like a hole. Like we're in six feet of water right now. It's like a huge flat, but there's all these little like 12 foot holes scattered around and we're about to be up on one. So I kind of want to just sit on it and just drag around it a little bit or something. I don't really know. It's the middle of the day. It's the worst time to be fishing of the day in Florida at this time of year, August. Um, but actually it's not a scorching day. It's just a normal hellish day, you know, not too bad. But maybe if we drag some deep water, sounds good to me. Gotta be honest, boys, the new Guggen rubbers are fitting nice and snug. They're actually a heck of a lot more comfortable than I thought they were gonna be. I'll be honest, these types of shoes are not really my thing on the on the regular, but now that I've been wearing them all day, I kind of freaking love them. And my feet like never get wet now, so that's dope. Um, what about a little jiggy poo down there? Maybe just drag a little, little juicy jig around. My craw is missing a flapper. It's okay, I might not need it. I guess I need to be figuring out what the best shrimp, yeah, uh, the seriously. best shrimp lure is gonna be because we heard from some of the locals earlier, folks, that the uh, shrimp are running like crazy right now, apparently. Um, so we saw tons of people cast netting for them yesterday evening when we first rolled into town. I think a crawfish though is a decent imitation, right? I mean. Yeah. So. Decent, you know, not decent. great. I mean, who, what bass fisherman has a shrimp lure just on hand? You know what I mean? That's not one of them things you think about necessarily. I'm feeling some stuff down there. That dang brush pile might actually exist. Yeah. Yeah. Which would be the shocker of the century. This kind of seems like a long shot, but it is Florida and I put a gold clutch on here just because there's so many different like gold type fish. Was, was that a fish? That was a fish, man. Or that was something. Yeah, because it was over there. There was a huge wake afterwards. I could have sworn I just got nipped that. I mean, I'm seeing like ducks on the water and stuff. You don't think that was like an alligator in broad daylight, do you? Just murked a freaking duck? I mean, because that's all you would hear. If an alligator eased over to a duck on the water, just like that one out there, and got close enough to chomp it, that's all you would hear. Yeah. It'd be, and that would be it. You wouldn't yeah, see anything. I mean, I, I don't see any feathers, but I'm, <laughs> I don't know, man. That one's a little perplexing. That would be crazy. I am sure alligators eat plenty of birds. I have to imagine. Oh, yeah. I'm sure that's high up on their forage list. Wait, how would that go right there? I, no, you, idea. no idea. No idea. I think this hole was a big phony, man. Think so? I think this brush pile hole was all, all talk. Oh, there's a freaking huge drop off right there. Maybe crank a little bit more? Middle of the day cranking? Why not? I almost want to jump in the water because it's so hot until you remember where we are and how big these mongrels get. <laughs> they get huge. Oh, I don't know. I think I had a stick or something. Jeez. Thought I was tight. Guys, one of the reasons why we picked this area to fish is because we were told by some locals as well that there was like a big gator or we heard about locals talking about how there was a big gator that just lived over here now you can't i'm on baby i'm on 
Let's go. We're cranking them in the middle of the day, and that's a decent little largemouth bass. Oh, let's go, baby. Those good hooks I was talking about, dude. Look, oh, my man. Look at how he ate that. <laughs> Styrofoam coolers, kids, are not meant to be stepped on by grown men. <laughs> Can you even see me on that thing? Barely. <laughs> Should I move back? Let me back up a little bit. Oh, oh my god. Dude. <laughs> that sequence of events right there. Can you see him now? Yeah. Look at how he ate that crankbait. Oh my lord. Look at that's got his mouth propped open. Well, we didn't get skunked by God. That did not happen. Even in this Florida heat in the middle of the day, we still got her done. The gold clutch, like I said, guys, there's something about that gold clutch in Florida. There's just something about it. Long, skinny, gold looking fish. He's bleeding a little bit. Let's get him out of here. Woo! Some people like to revive fish. I just like to shock them back into existence. And I've heard from fish people that's not a bad thing to do either. Dude, I freaking destroyed our cooler. Yeah. Let's not forget. I mean, like, yeah, it was funny, but damn it, now the cooler's destroyed. Now our cold drinks are. Drink them, man. We gotta drink them, including this 10 pack of Fireball, which makes us look like pure alcoholics. Hey, man. Literally just bought this at a gas station because I thought it was funny looking. I was gonna bring some home. Now we just look like irresponsible boaters. Hey, at least they're not open yet. That's right. Look, law enforcement, we have not opened it. I literally bought them because it was just funny because it was at a gas station. Dude, one fish in. Let's go, baby. Awesome. Middle of the freaking day. There is nobody bass fishing right now. There is nobody. There's a lot of boats out here, but there are, a lot of them are just parked. But nobody is out here bass fishing right now, bro. Dude, cranking them in the middle of the day. Can't beat that. I mean, it's not going to get any hotter than it is right this second. Like, we are at apex heat of the day. And we just smoked one. So I guess we'll just keep our eye out for alligators, folks. I mean, that's the, at the end of the day, we're scouting, you know, we're fishing while we scout, but we've already seen one big gator that was, it was kind of out in the middle, but you got to feel like this is his home. You know, maybe he's just out there roaming around. So if we could just see a couple more big gators, catch a couple more bass, maybe a big one, and we'll be ready to go hunting tonight. Don't ask me why I'm about to throw this. I just feel like, when in Florida, you gotta throw all the rules out the window. It's the middle of the day, top water's not really probably that prominent right now. I just wanna give him a little explode tope. Oh yeah, I see him. Wait, is that a gator? Yep. Are you sure? He went down. It was like, a, it was a small little yeah, gator. I watched him come up. But dude, that might be like a, a child of the big one, you know? It's a bunch of bait push back here, dude. A bunch of bait. There's so much like shad and other bait fish. I'm seeing them on my graph and just right, be right below the water surface. A little saucy swimmer. Something real slow, not intimidating. It's gotta be that little gator I just scared. Where are you? Oh, and live scope just dies <laughs> at that exact moment. Let's go. Guys, I'm gonna try not to move here, but a gator just popped his head up about 15 yards, 20 yards in front of the boat. Now, that doesn't look like a big one, but what I'm thinking is that could be an offspring, you know? That could be a juvenile. I, I don't know, you know, I just, I don't know. Oh, he just went down again. I don't know what the gator system is you know for family i don't know if they kick you out of the nest once you get a little bit older if you hang out with mom for a few years i'm not really sure how it goes got bait fish getting run over here kind of acting a little spooky man one day me and ao went to ufala man and we got so close to gators like multiple times like <laughs> Dude, they're like right up in this little cut, man. This is the second one back here inside. Look at all the bait fish scattered when he comes in. Dude, I just fish slapped the heck out of myself. I know you guys are noticing how dark these Florida bass are. It's one of the things they're known for besides being super aggressive and not really liking the hot weather so much. But 
almost black in color. I mean, so dark. Such a cool fish though. Black eyes almost. Look at that thing. Wow. Thank you for eating the saucy swimmer. He was like shaking the whole time in my hands. He was just like, God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tear your finger up. Just let me go. He was ready. Simple saucy swimmer, guys. I'm telling you, this rig right here, this could catch any fish in just about any body water in the world, dang near. I mean, it's just a simple bait fish presentation. It just swims around like a bait fish would. And uh, you can always just take it off and put a worm on there too if it's not working. So it's one of my favorite like simple techniques that nobody ever talks about. It's just like a Texas rig with a paddle tail swim bait. And then just kind of like slow rolling it, you know? Just trying to make maintain like bottom contact, maybe even like popping it a couple times. And just giving them a really slow bait fish that looks like it's not doing too well and they can just eat easily. We should have known as soon as we started seeing bait fish on the graph and in real life, we should have known there was some bass around. Heck yeah, man, two fish off of our second spot. That ain't bad. No, ain't bad. <laughs> Let's not forget to mention that in Florida, uh, huge tropical storms just seem to come out of nowhere. So luckily we're kind of close to the boat ramp because we might have to be hauling, you know what, out of here here in a little bit. Crazy thing is it's only three feet out here or you know, three, between three and four. So yeah, that's one of the freaky things about Florida, dude. You'll just have a mile of this black water that you can't see anything, but it's only three or four feet deep. So that means whatever's on the bottom is like right there, you know? Yeah. It's not far away at all, like a giant alligator, for example. That rain's getting closer, Andrew. <laughs> the rain area has doubled in width since last time I looked over here, which can only mean it's heading our way and it's getting closer. That's not great. These mullets, look at them. They just go, I mean, he's running from something. Like that's like their defense mechanism. Yep. It's big enough to eat that big of a mullet. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying, dude. I want whatever's chasing that dang mullet. Oh my God, I just felt the raindrop. Um, should I book it back to the bridge? Boat ramp? I mean, yeah, I don't think we have long. All right, let's kick it back to the bridge. Let's kick, take a little cover here. <laughs> I feel like running away from the rain. God, that rain's coming, bro. This is actually, yeah, it's not even a bad spot for us just to kind of sit like this wedged in here. I think it is just a blob, but let me just make sure. Oh, please. Is, oh, I mean, it's obviously on top of us right this second. Jesus Christ. The rain's coming in sideways, Andrew. We're, we should have left when we had a chance. Now we're. Yeah, this is good. We should have hit the ramp. <laughs> yeah, we should have said, get me the f out of here. Hey, dude, we made a judgment call. Oh my god, <laughs> this is, oh. Yeah, this is. Damn it, that was not <laughs> smart. Oh, lightning, yes. Give me all of it. I feel like we're just like, we're closer, like the water's closer to the bridge over here, you know what I mean? So we don't have as much air for the, rent, the wet rain to get in sideways. As much room, you know? Yeah. Much better, dude. I mean, now we got giant holes. <laughs> we got giant holes in the road to just let rain in. Yeah, this is some, this is Florida right here, folks. You wanted wild Florida, you got it. This is a great example of what Florida's like on the regular. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Come on, girl. Dude, this is so dangerous right now. Like, this is crazy dangerous. <laughs> this is literally how people sink boats. Anybody can do it, though, dude. Oh, yeah. If anybody can sink this bastard, it's me. Like, when it gets, when the wind catches the nose of your boat, like, you just can't do it. 
It does, it is clear now, but I feel like it is. It's definitely clear now. I'm gonna do something kind of weird here and I'm gonna throw the old buzz bait a little bit. I know, kind of a weird thing to do, but it's right after, wow! It's right after a rain. It's really overcast right now. A little bit of wind. And I just think that hiding back here, there could just be some donkasauruses. Thought the weather was gonna take pity on us, man. I thought it was gonna like reward us for sticking it out, but I don't know. It seems like she's still betraying us by the second, in fact. This is just like a sun shower. This isn't even like the bad weather we had. This is like a completely different thing now. <laughs> Jeez, are you kidding me? I love you, Florida. Keep doing it to me. It makes me feel alive. <laughs> it just increases. It just keeps ratcheting things up. Yes! There it is! Full sun. Just as hard of a rain as we had earlier, if not harder. And this rain is cold somehow. The first round of rain a minute ago was hot. Now this is cold. I love this place. What did we just hit? Is that a gator? <laughs> dude, dude, seriously, what did we just hit? Do you see a do you see a stump? I don't see a stump anywhere, bro. Holy crap. I didn't see a stump on live scope either. Dude, we're in four feet of water. There's no way. We didn't just hit ground. We just hit something. What the heck? <laughs> bro. Also, my trolling motor is not working at the moment. Oh yeah, it is, just very slowly. Do we just, if we turn around a minute and see a gator float, see like just back here, we know we just ran over an alligator. We just hit something, like, and then I don't see a, anything on the graph. I don't see anything looking behind me that would have indicated what we just hit. I don't know if top water's the move anymore. Maybe a little bit less rain, it would be fine, but. Oh, a little less rain. You got it, buddy. Thank you, universe. I appreciate a little help every now and again. Ow. At least my feet are dry. <laughs> because of the new Guggen rubbers. Really? Oh, rainbow. Dude, it's on the water. Look, the rainbow's on the water. It starts on the water. Oh, it ends on the water, too. Yeah, both sides. That's freaking incredible. I don't know if you guys can see. I don't know if I've ever seen that. That's freaking cool. On the water too, like both ends on like easily visible on the water. That's pretty wild. All right, folks, the fishing is officially over. Officially, the I fishing, you like there. that? Yeah. Wasn't intentional, but I like the way it turned out. Like, it's time to trade in our extra wide gap bass fishing hooks for what would you call that? Um, extra, extra, extra wide gap yeah, treads. At least. Quad, treble hooks. Dude, look at, I mean, look at this compared to my hand and my face. It's bigger than all that. Can you imagine like being grabbed? Oh God. Yeah, that'd be awful. I mean, an alligator's tough. They probably don't even feel it like that. I'm just saying like a human, you know what I mean? Like imagine getting it's that so punctured in you. But. The fishing portion is over of this trip. Now, for the next eight to 10 hours, not even sure how long it's gonna take, we are going to officially launch this trophy alligator hunt. Okay, so from here on out, this is big boy time. This is darkness, dangerous, you know, be on your P's and Q's, listening to the guys who are running the boat like Morgan, the people who have done this before. Even though I've done it before, but I'm gonna definitely listen to them because they're really freaking good at this. Unfortunately, this video got so long on us that we decided to break it up into two parts. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this first part and hit the thumbs up button and subscribe and all that good stuff. But the next video is gonna come out probably in a couple days. But uh, the, the conclusion to the alligator hunt will be in that next video. And hopefully we're successful. 
wish us luck. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hang around for a sneak peek of that video. I will see you guys later.